Hey, today what I'm going to show you, here is a sample of our survival gear deluxe 72 hour survival kit. Now these things are sometimes known as emergency backpacks or survival backpacks or bug out bags, but they're all basically the same thing. Uh, as you can see here, ours come in a backpack, it's got a rugged canvas outside on it. <clears throat> it says survival kit right on there in case you ever uh, forget what the backpack that you have in here is. Uh, it's got some extra pockets here for you to add some things. Uh, one of the things I want you to note here, each one of our backpacks comes with the date that it was packed. Uh, some of the stuff in here, like the water is good for five years, uh, the emergency food bars are good for approximately 10 years. So you can take a look at this and you can tell when it's time to maybe replace some of the supplies in here. On the outside we have a piece of rope, nylon 50 foot, it always comes in handy. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up and see what's inside. Right, we'll go in the larger compartment here first. As you can see all the supplies that are in here come in waterproof bags. Uh, in case there's ever any kind of flooding or anything like that, but then you have to come and, and grab your bag. All the contents are still going to be dry. Uh, this one's got some hygiene items, some feminine hygiene items, razors, comb, toothpaste, some soap. This one is a two-person kit, so it's got two of them. There's some additional zippered areas and pockets in here where you can put some more things and customize your bag. Set that back up. We'll go ahead and open up the main area here. Okay, inside here you're also going to find all this stuff in a large Ziploc bag. Again, if you're ever flooded or got some water damage, you know all your contents in here are still dry and usable. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Again, most of the things in here you're going to have two of because this is a two-person bag. We have over here some uh, air filters for your mask, for your face, in case there's any contaminants uh, due to the whatever type of hazard that you find yourself into. Uh, there's tissues. It's always handy. Sleeping bags. These are made of a, a mylar waterproof and windproof material. Same stuff they use, NASA uses for spacecraft missions and it retains as much as 90% uh, of your body heat. So this is really good to have. We have a flashlight, no batteries required. Basically, you just kind of crank this thing up and uh, it'll always work for you. So you'll have some light regardless of the situation or whether you have batteries or not. Again, the tissues. AM, FM radio. If there's an emergency and the television's out and all your electricity's gone, this one's battery operated, you put them in here and at least you can start listening to the weather uh, news reports at your local stations and find out what's going on and what the current situation is. Okay, what I have here, these are the vitamin or the nutrition bars, the energy bars that are in here. Again, these things are good for about five years or so. It's enough in here with enough calories to sustain two people for, for three days. Tube tent. In case something happens to your house and it's not usable and you can't live in it and you actually need some sort of shelter during the nights or when it's raining, it comes with its own tube tent. And then the last items here is water. That's something uh, very few of us have enough, enough stored water and you'll be surprised how much water you're going to need in an emergency. Uh, these aqua blocks come in durable cardboard containers and they'll store for, for five years. They're, they're made to live up to the U.S. Coast Guard standards so they're good for five years. Actually I would recommend that you get an extra supply of these or another supply of some sort of water in addition to what's in the bag. Because water is one of those things like I said you never have enough of. And then again emergency poncho, something you can put on yourself if it's raining. Okay, let me pack all this stuff back up here. Okay, now on the outside pockets here, you know, the backpack. So what we have here is your first aid supplies. You have some bandages, iodine, burn creams, some lip, uh, lip balm, aspirins, and some other things that you might need in case of just minor first aid items for just some cuts, bruises, scrapes, or some other things that you may 
sustained during some sort of a disaster. We have light sticks. Uh, basically these, if you've never seen them before, you, you twist them, crack them, shake them up, and they provide light for about 12 hours. Best thing is they don't need any sort of batteries or, or anything like that. And you can probably pack these in here for about a good 10 years or so and they'll still be usable. Okay, in here, got another packet. We have some more items, a few more tissues. We have a 30 piece kit, first aid kit, traditional first aid. These are handy, these are hand warmers. They don't require anything but a little water. You put them in there and they'll provide heat and warmth for up to eight hours. You can have these on your hand. You can stick them in, you can actually stick them in your shoes, keep your feet warm. And then there's also an infectious waste bag here if that's required, as well as a notepad for taking notes. Okay, so this is your survival kit. 